Now, taking care of the elderly in this day and age has proved to be a challenge for many. With society changing and their roles in society gradually evolving alongside erosion of African culture, many an elderly person has found themselves in problems simply by the virtue of their advanced age. Now, in the Gusi region, this is especially true, with attacks against the elderly a disturbing phenomenon. And as Crispin Ocheno reports, despite these challenges, there are those who opt to help alleviate the problems faced by the elderly. As the country strive to tighten laws protecting the elderly in the society, Many of them, especially in the Gusi and Coast regions, live in an uncertainty. The two regions have experienced gruesome killing of the aged. We visited Nyagonyi village in Marani, Kitutu Chache North. This is where four elderly women were lynched in broad daylight on suspicion of practicing witchcraft in the year 2021. Christopher Mayaka, a 60-year-old son to one of the slain women, Sindege Mayaka, was left with a permanent scar when angry youths pounced on his sick mother, accusing her of practicing witchcraft alongside three others, all who are women above 60 years of age. Following the incident, the family unanimously agreed to desert this home simply because it reminds them of the heart-wrenching killing of their loving mother. This is the gravesite of the late Sindege Mayaka, one of the four elderly women brutally murdered here in Marani. And even as the wheels of justice continue to roll, locals here continue to elicit mixed reaction on how the elderly are currently being treated in our society. We sought answers on why the elderly are targeted so often when it comes to these attacks. Chanzo gikubwa chanzo ni kuangalia bari ya mashamba na vile anavyoishi vizuri. Sasa ukiuliza wewe mwenyewe uliza hii watoto mimi ndio na sawa baba baba yao na wamama yao. Sasa hii ujawe unatokea wapi? Amid the challenges the senior members of the society grapple with, a Hadi Kenya convened a sensitization program in Bobasi aimed at addressing the issue of associating grey hair with witchcraft. It's very pathetic. It's very ungodly. I don't know which term to use, but I think it's backwardness of the highest order for anybody to point a finger at an elderly person who is over 80 years, 90 years old, and call them a witch. In the end, the aged population were treated to soothing music in addition to valuables and food items to spice up their week, though this is still a temporal reprieve. <laughs> this population still remains hopeful that someday their presence will count to the younger generations who seem to have abdicated their role in caring for them, more especially in rural areas. In Kisi, in line with what Ahadi does best during this uh, cold season, supporting the elderly with blankets and other uh, essentials. Upendo nye ni kitu kia muhimu sana ata kwa dunia. Ndiyo wensetu wanaturetea mukate, wanaturetea unga, wanaturetea prangeti na 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 fitu vingine. Tunasema asante. Crispin Otieno for Citizen TV. Kisi.